You what up keep. everybody? Constructive B. Back again. Change flip. Uh, working on dividing fractions today the easy way. So if you've been with us for a little while, or if you're new to the show, you might um, might need to go back and watch these other videos. But previously on Instructive Beats, we worked on dividing whole numbers by fractions using area models, and then also dividing fractions by whole numbers, again using area models. So the point of both of those videos was to help us con conceptually understand or visualize what we're doing when we're dividing fractions and whole numbers. Today, we get to make it easy, right? So today we're gonna do the steps that we talk about in our song. Hopefully you've listened to it. If not, pause, go listen to it and come back. We're gonna be working on keep, change, flip. So right here I have a, a two thirds divided by four, right? So my dividend's two thirds, and I wanna put that into four groups, right? And find out how many are in each group. But instead of drawing an area model, all I'm gonna use is my keep, change, flip. So I'm gonna get my pen and I'm going to, or get my marker, and I'm going to label the steps above my fraction. So I'm gonna label my first one keep, and then my, put my change over my sign, and I'm going to flip this in a second. But before I do that, I want to have, when I'm doing keep, change, flip, I want all of my numbers, whether it's a dividend and the divisor, to be a fraction. So in order to do that, I'm going to change four holes into a fraction by making the denominator a one, right? And I haven't changed this at all, it's still the exact same thing, um, but four over one is the same thing, or four divided by one is the same thing as four holes. But now everything's a fraction, and now it becomes a little bit easier. So I'm going to keep my first fraction exactly the same and write it underneath, two thirds. Uh, I'm trying to write with a mouse pad today, so stick with me. I'm going to change my division sign to multiplication, and then I'm going to flip the four over one, I'm going to flip it on top of each other, and we call that the reciprocal, and the reciprocal of four over one is one over four, right? So that's where we get the flip part from, and so reciprocal is just a fancy way of saying Basically, you take the numerator and denominator and you switch it. And now, just as the song says, our last step is just to multiply across. So, 2 times 1 obviously equals 2. And 3 times 4 equals 12. So, 2 thirds divided by 4, right? Or 2 thirds split into 4 groups would make 2 twelfths in each group. Or you can always simplify that right to one sixth, okay? And that's all there is to it. Keep, change, flip. You keep the first fraction the same. You change the sign. You flip the second fraction or the divisor to its reciprocal, which is just a fancy way of saying you flip the numerator or denominator. So let's take a look at another problem. And so in this problem, the dividend and the divisor are both fractions, so we don't need to turn anything into a fraction like we did last time. So all we get, all we have to do is label above it, keep, change, flip, same exact thing. You always keep the first fraction exactly the same and you can write it down underneath. So I'm gonna put four fifths here, okay? And I'm going to change the division sign to a multiplication. And again, I'm going to flip two thirds on top of itself, otherwise known as reciprocal. And I'm going to have three halves now. There we go. And now, I'm, all I do is I multiply across. So four times three is 12. Five times two is 10. Sorry, 10, there we go. And 12 tenths is the correct answer. So four fifths divided by two thirds is 12 tenths. Or we always like to turn improper fractions into mixed numbers. So I like to say this could be one and two tenths. And if you really want to keep going, you could really just make simplify this and make your answer one and one fifth. Okay. So if you split if you have four fifths and you split them into two thirds or divided by two thirds, your answer would be one and one fifth. So we have one more problem for you to try. 
So let's go to the next problem. And you go ahead and try 5 divided by 5 eighths. And again, don't forget to label it first and then turn your whole number into a fraction. So go ahead and pause the video, try this, and then unpause it and check it out. So hopefully you just, check, uh, you just tried it out. So you should be checking your work right now. So we have our keep, change, flip, right? We always want to make sure we label that. I want to turn this 5 into a fraction. For some reason, my pen keeps changing colors. So now I have 5 over 1 divided by 5 eighths. So I'm going to get my red pen, and I'm going to keep the first fraction exactly the same. So in this case, it would just be 5 over 1. I'm going to change my sign to multiplication, and I'm going to flip my 5 eighths to the reciprocal, which is 8 over 5. There we go. And now... Instead of drawing area models, all we have to do is multiply across. So 5 times 8 is 40. There we go. 1 times 5 is 5. And now I have an improper fraction. This, obvious, this is just a basic fact. So I know 40 divided by 5 would be 8 holes. So if I had 5 holes and I was splitting them into uh, 5 eighths in each group, I could make 8 groups of that. And that's how you keep change flip. As always, please check us out on YouTube at Channel Instructabeats. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructabeats, or you can email us at instructabeats at gmail.com. You cue the music. You're Instructabeats. Out. Oh.